Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will give you an introduction to Windows objects and handles. Consider an application, Microsoft PowerPoint. While using the application, you would encounter items that allow the user to interact with the application, like cursors, icons, and windows. These are referred to as user objects. You would also use items responsible for graphical display like colors and fonts. These are referred to as graphics device interface objects. There are also kernel level objects like imported libraries, a process object, which is the application program in execution, threads, tokens responsible for access control, and other items like semaphores and mutexes. Formally, a Windows object is a system resource like a file, an icon, or a kernel object that is used by an application in execution. Now, how does the application access the objects? Access is obtained using handles. Formally, a handle is a reference to a Windows object. Every process on your computer has a list of handles to system objects. These are not directly visible, but can be viewed using special tools. In the user land, we can view the handles associated with the process using tools like handle.exe. These are the list of handles associated with Chrome browser. We can see the list of files accessed by the Chrome executable. From this entry, we can infer the absolute path where the default user's browser history is stored. We can also view the handles associated with the process in kernel land. I have Windows Debugger running in kernel debugging mode. Let us view the handles used by Notepad application. The handle command is used for this. Here, we can view detailed information about the handles used by Notepad. There is also information about the type of handle in use. I encourage you to research about the various options that can be used with the handle command. I will tell you why examining process handles is important for malware reverse engineering. When a malicious process executes on a computer, it obtains handles to various system resources like registry keys, dynamic link libraries, other files, etc. Identifying and analyzing the handles helps gather information about the capabilities of the malicious sample. Knowing how handle information can be retrieved from the user land and kernel land is an important skill for the reverse engineer. Here is a project idea for you, pick a sample from a malware dataset. Executed on a virtual machine. Examine the handles of the malicious process in using user land and kernel land tools. See if anything suspicious stands out. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!